It's your Kadar, tapping in with Smirkus Visuals. Like, comment, subscribe. Back with my, back with my man Smirkus video. <laughs> How was it growing up for you in Fairfield? Uh, to me, it was, it was, uh, I ain't gonna lie, like, like, when we moved to Fairfield, me and my mama moved to Fairfield, because I came from San Jose. But when me and my mama moved to Fairfield, my big brother, that nigga six years older than me, so that nigga was finna grown, finna go live his life and shit. So I was by myself, and it was more like a nigga, all a nigga really wanted was money, you feel me? On my mama, a nigga really wanted was money. Money, bitches, and drugs, like, you know what I mean? And I guess that come from a nigga influences or whatever, but that's all a nigga, that's all a nigga really cared to do was get money to look nice, have bitches and shit like that. You know what I mean? Just trying to establish some type of status. You feel me? Like trying to trying to be somebody, you know what I mean? Like Was it easy for you getting money back then? Hell no, nah, it wasn't easy. Hell no, nah, it wasn't easy. Like I used to be doing when I was like hella young, I used to be helping my grandpa uh, 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 uh primer car. That's when you like sandpaper the whole car down before they paint. I used to be helping my grandpa do that. Nigga helping just uh, older people mow the lawn and shit. My granny mow the lawn, like, just for $20 and shit like that. You know what I mean? Just all type of shit. So, hell nah, nigga, we was stealing and shit. You feel me? Nah, hell nah. Is there a certain reason why you changed your name from EPH? Definitely. I converted to Islam. And what Kadar mean is, I was always AC, though. You feel me? Since middle school. AC, baby. You feel me? But, uh, uh, Kadar. Kadar means the night of honor and power, you feel me? It means power and honor, but the night of Kadar is when the first surahs, which is a chapter of the Quran, was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, you feel me? So I adopted that name, you feel me? Because when I converted to Islam, I felt like that's when I got my power and my honor, you feel me? My way of living. So that's why I'm H. Kadar. How you feel about music mixing with the politics and stuff like that? I feel like that shit ain't gonna never end because the music, look, look at it like this, right? The music come from the streets, or at least it's supposed to, when niggas is rapping about real shit, you feel me? And when I say that, so, if the music is coming from the streets, what is it like in the streets? If my nigga, okay, if I rap, and my nigga funkin' with a nigga that rap, I can't do no song with this nigga. What's your message for the youth? My message to the youth is to basically be on your shit early, feel me, so you can be rich by your 20s, you feel me? Um, like I said earlier, like all that miscellaneous shit, them dumbass parties, them video games, all that stupid, all that shit can wait, you feel me? Grind now. Um, I mean, that's how them, like I said, them little geniuses and shit be graduating high, uh, college at 13 and shit like that, because the foundation is strong from the bottom. You how you feel like being in the system will change you as a man? I feel like being in the system, I feel like being in the system can, can either make you better or worse. And I say that because when a nigga go to jail, it's like being put in a cage, right? A nigga, all you want to do is get out, get out, get out, get out. You feel me? Instead of, or a lot of, or some niggas don't reflect on what they going to do when they get out. You feel me? So basically, they frozen in time. Boom. You feel me? So now, when you get out, you back on the same shit that you was doing when you went in, you feel me? Or you can be in there, you feel me, and really, really, really take that shit to heart in a bad way and, and, and be, you know, be in your books, you feel me? Uh, 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 learn about your own characteristics, your own flaws and shit like that to become better, to not come back to that motherfucker, you feel me? Whatever you should do, you feel me? Uh, how to treat your people better, you feel me, on the street? Because, bro, in jail, all you got is time to think about your life, you feel me? on my mama but some niggas don't use it you feel me to think you feel me because it's also a time where you don't got to worry about paying no rent you don't got to worry about feeding yourself you can't do nothing nigga you in jail so niggas take advantage of that shit on some bum shit i don't care it's a lot of niggas that get money on the street and still don't take advantage of their time in jail like you feel me a bum mentality you know what i mean on my mama but another thing i want to say about that is what jail high jail affected me personally and I know a lot of niggas might feel like this, right? Is that, see, I did my two years in the pen as a young nigga. I went at 19. That shit, all I wanted to do was get out. Even though I read and shit like that. But, like, since I feel like they took so much time from me, like, now that I'm out now, nigga, I'm quick to just get in the car and just go anywhere. You feel me? I'm quick to go, uh, 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 you know, just 
you know, like I'm thirsty for experiences, you feel me? Because I feel like, nigga, my freedom can be stripped from me at any moment. You feel me? But that's a bad thing because you can't think like you always on the edge. You feel me? My mama.